Hi everybody. I want to talk to you about mm, difference between men and women. And I don't. I'm not talking about ooh the body parts. I'm talking more of mm, how we grow up in life. Okay? Now for a guy, we have basically two stages of life. One stage. Hey, is you go up and at some point you become competitive with other guys. So the first stage is you're not competitive and then around anywhere from 9, 10, 12, 15 years old you all of a sudden go into this competitive stage with other guys. And it could be anything. And you could be uh, at motocross racing, it could be playing chess if you're, you know, it could be a whole bunch of things, okay? But you're competitive with guys. Okay? And you're competitive with guys until your, your entire life. Okay? It doesn't end. Okay? I'm a little over 60, and, and the competitive part of that stuff. Until you're retired like I am, hey, it keeps going, going, and going. <clears throat> now, here's the thing. If you're a girl, hey, you have multiple stages of life. Hey, from birth to eight, nine years old, hey, girls, um don't like boys, hey, they think they're ucky and ugly and whatever, hey, and they realize that, oh, I'm cute, boys are ugly, hey, and then they hit the next stage past the uh, cuteness stage, and that's when they realize that, hey, there's something about being a girl that's way different than a guy, hey, and um, about... <clears throat> That's when they hit puberty and I realized, hey, there's, you know, guys ain't that icky and ugly anymore, okay? They're interesting, okay? And their body changes, and they get their first, yeah, well, let's skip that part, okay? Well, anyway, you know, if you're an adult or a female, you know what I'm talking about. And the thing of it is, is that, hey, a new world becomes on them because now that you're a female, you realize that guys are interested in you as much as you're interested in guys. But the difference is, hey, and females realize this, is that the more pretty you are, the more guys will take, pay attention to you. Hey, and pretty is pretty much, ooh, big boobs. Uh, pretty face, hey, nice clothing. Hmm? Uh, girls want makeup. It's the reason, you know, they don't realize it, but they kind of do. Hey, so that's the stage of like puberty to 15 or 16. At that point, hey, that's the next stage is around 14, 15, or 16 to about 18 or 19. Okay? Now, some get a little early, some get a little late on this, but they realize that sex is power. Okay? And it's worth money. Okay? And I don't mean prostitution money. I mean, a guy goes, uh, typical story you hear, you hear is a guy goes into a mobile shop, he has to pay the $400 to have his car fixed or $600, whatever it is, okay? The girl, oh, oh, my car is bad, okay? Look, lady, look, lady, I'll give it to you for the price, you know, you know the cost of the parts, which is like 150 bucks, okay? And actually, it's not even that. Okay? They're still making money in a muffler shop. But anyway, oh, so the price of things, okay, in the world, okay, 
especially if it's male dominated, okay, becomes really cheap for females. Okay. I discuss uh, on a, another YouTube video, okay, how um, people, okay, how the uh, guys in business, okay, how he's not getting paid at certain times, okay, people have them over, okay. And um, I had, I had a taxi business once. I owned it. I was actually partners with somebody, but I was the guy with the money. I owned it. And I got two girls in a the car. They were about 14 years old. And I'm driving them up to the mall, from the city to the mall. It's like a $6, $7, fare, $8 fare or something like that. It's 15, 20 minutes. And they're telling me they know the owner. So I ask them, really? You know the owner? Who's the owner? What's his name? What's his first name? And they're like, well, we don't really know his first name. And go like, yeah, you don't know him. Hey. And they're like, well, hey, we we're told this is a free ride. Free. And I'm like, free? And it's like, this is a business. Hey. If I give you a ride for free, I don't get paid. And they're looking at me like, well, you know, okay, the owner will pay you. I'm like, no, that's not the way it works. And I look at him and I smile at him and says, you realize I am the owner. This is a private company. And I own it. And, well, what about the other drivers? And I go, they work for me. And they were like kind of in shock. And I go, well, we're, when we get up to the mall, we're just going to jump out. and There's nothing you can do about it. I go, really? I'll tell you what. I'm going to follow you around the mall. Screaming at you, where's my money for the taxi ride? Okay, for at least 10 or 15 minutes before I go, before I leave the mall. There's nothing you can do about it. I'll stand about 15, 20 feet away from you, screaming at you. But everybody will know that you uh, didn't pay for your ride. Trust me, they paid me before they even got out of the car. But anyway, that's that stage, okay, realizing, hey, I get free stuff because I'm female. Okay? And that's great. And then... The next stage, okay, is what I would call the pregnancy stage. Okay, they realize that if I have sex, I'm going to get pregnant. So, they, all of a sudden, they're, they find out about birth control from their mother or from friends or whatever. And if they want to have sex, they, they really start learning about birth control because they don't want to get pregnant. You know. Not all the time, but they end up being pregnant anyway. Sometimes they want to, sometimes they don't. But okay, that's that stage in life, okay, where you're, ha where women start having children. Okay. And that goes up to about 25, 28, 30 years old. Okay. Then the next stage kicks in at about 30. And they realize, what happened? I go in a muffler shop and... The guy's charging me full price. I bat my eyes. He's still charging me full price. You're no longer cute. And that's when it hits them. And it also hits them that, uh-oh, if I don't have kids now, I'll never be able to have kids. I've only got like a couple years left before I can actually have kids. And they're at that stage between I don't know, 20 and 40. And they realize, if I want to get kids, I got to get married. Well, I got to have them now. Then the next stage is actually the stage when they over the hill at 40. Guys, oh my God. Hey, women are over the hill at 40. No, they're not. Hey, but that's the next stage in life for a woman. Hey, sounds pretty complicated. Guys have two stages. One, they grow up, become competitive, they competitive until they retire, and that's it. So actually three stages, but anyway. Okay. So women are at 40, they can't have kids anymore. Okay. And that's, you know, the 40 to 60 range. Because they can adopt kids or they can do something. Okay. Once you're in the 60 range, you don't want kids. You know, you're at your end of your life. Well, I don't consider myself. I figure I got another 20, 30 years to go. 
but I wouldn't want kids at 60 years old. I mean, that means a 20 year commitment. You know, sometimes even longer. But anyway, so guys have like two, three stages. You grow up, you become competitive, and you retire and become uncompetitive. So there's actually three stages, excuse me. And women have multiple stages. Okay, I lost crap. Count. Mm -hmm. Must be in my high school education. I don't remember what you were. Actually, I do, but that's a different story. So anyway, they have from two, one to or birth to eight, one stage, from eight to twelve. Okay, they they realize that okay, boys aren't as ugly as they thought they were at eight years old. Then all of a sudden, by the time they're like 14, 16, 18, they realize, okay, hey, we got something going on here, okay, because guys are willing to pay for it. Okay? And I mean, you know, not prostitution, I mean, just guys are willing to give, to get women's attention, give money, give favors, give whatever, okay? go in a bar, get a free drink because you're a female. And that, that's pretty good up until you hit like 28, 25, 28, and all of a sudden it starts turning. Okay? And then all of a sudden, you also, you also as a female realize, oh, I gotta get have kids now or otherwise I can't have them. Okay? You know, because what's in your belly, okay? the, the stuff that's not in you, okay? is on the clock. Okay? It only lasts for so long. Guys can have kids right up until they're 90. Women can't do that. And then after that, okay, there's the stage of being middle-aged, okay, and not getting all the stuff you used to get when you were 19, 20 years old. And then you're hitting the retirement age, where, hey, you're like the guy. You're no longer competing with other women. You're relaxing, okay, hopefully. Hopefully you saved enough money or, you know, did things that get you retirement benefits somewhere. And you coast through life until you die. So that's what I wanted to talk about, okay? The difference between men and women, okay, and how they go through life. Okay? Thanks for watching. And remember, smash the like. No, I don't care. Okay? I don't care if two people watch this video, okay? It's not, a, it's not that important, okay? Oh, Thanksgiving is tomorrow, so I'll probably tape or not tape anymore. It's a cell phone. Okay? A video. My mom getting up and having Thanksgiving dinner and blah blah blah. So thank you for watching anyway and bye bye.